I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the green book. The green book is where all the rules are and the hands and scoring at the back. So if you haven't gotten your green book, look for a link in the video description below. This exercise is called random pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times, and I'm going to draw from this stack to determine which player we are, and I'll also pick a card for prevailing for each one. For the first pull, we're player one, so I'll get 14 tiles. North is prevailing. We have a white dragon east-west, one nine in cracks, one two three five six in bams with a pair of twos four, five, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and which category or hand would you play with these tiles? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on BAMs. and let those go. There are a lot of options in pairs and sequences that use winds and dragons, so I would keep those. For my first pass, I think I would probably do something like that and play BAMs, either sequences or pairs, and I wouldn't pick a hand yet until we would get through the Charleston. So I think the strength of this hand would be one suit with honors. Honors our winds and dragons, any combination. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. For the next one, we'll get 13 tiles for player two and then west is prevailing. We have west, <clears throat> we have a west, green, red, those would be the honors. Three, six, seven in cracks, pair three. Five, six, seven, nine in bams. Three, six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? The first thing I thought of when I saw these tiles is one suit and honors. But we could do cracks and bams equally, but we have a pair here. Then I thought, what about double numbers? Three, six, three, six with a pair of Windsor Dragons. And then I thought maybe we would keep a six since we have the sixes that would leave us with a very risky pass. I would not pass that. So I would probably let a wind go and then maybe pass those three. Focus on either double numbers or cracks and dragons. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below. We're gonna be player four, so we'll get 13 tiles. East is prevailing. We 
we have a red dragon and a north, three, eight, nine in dots, pair three, five bam pair with an eight, one, three, four, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play probably a number hand since we have the pair of threes and the fives. So we would need to use the four maybe and let those go. I would keep the, let's see, this eight because we might be able to actually play neutrality. Pung a Norse pair of fives and then Pung's of a different number in each suit. And those would be simples, which are two through eight. So I probably would pass those three first and focus on a number hand. If we were to get an east, we could do Eleanor east with red and then use this for the bam. We would just need to build up the four. So it would be great to get an east instead of the north. That way we can use that five. And we could pung pung here. So I would play a number hand. As a backup, maybe keep the eight. Because we could do three, eight, three, eight double numbers. Or maybe switch to one suit with honors depending on how it develops. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write poll three in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. Wright Patterson Mahjong is a game of patterns. When you get your dealt hand, arrange it and then look for the predominant pattern. A lot of times you can work in one suit or one suit with dragons and wins. And sometimes you can do something in mixed suits or maybe something with winds of dragons and terminals. Those are the three primary groups of patterns that I look for to help me with that initial draw. Once you have identified your predominant pattern, pass as defensively as you can while gathering tiles to support the strength of your hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.